There's so many great innovations. Door that goes straight from the bedroom to the bathroom. They've got this reinforced hanger here. Does this mean you put your phone in here and it charges it? Yep, so it's a phone charger. Looks like the underneath uh, LEDs there. Whoever is designing <laughs> these things is not a camper. Yeah. Now, are the guys at Brinkley, do they camp? Load range H, nice. So all the shelves are adjustable. You got an outlet in there. It's a thermal foil, like a reflective foil. So if the sun's beating in, it'll reflect the heat out to keep it nice and cool here. Ta-da! And we are on the way down to Brinkley. We'll see what Brinkley's got to offer. Brinkley might be a little rich for our for us, but we'll have to see. But we're coming. Okay, it's right here. Coming into Brinkley. We looked at all the different lengths and this is the shortest one they have 3211 so that's the only one that is as much as you want to go right that's all i would ever consider pretty new company hopefully we'll have find somebody here that'll tell us about the company and what they're all about because i don't know anything about brinkley i am here with brennan from brinkley and we're in the 2900 which is actually i think the rig that we're looking at from brinkley but you know, we don't know that much about Brinkley, the company, mm -hmm. or, or the brand, or the the vehicles that you guys have. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about Brinkley and why it's a new brand and a different brand? Yeah, uh, so Brinkley, we have five owners, no parent company, uh, and really the five guys have started, you know, some of the best companies and brands. Uh, you know, Ron and Bill Fennick being a part of Keystone, Grand Design, Micah and Nate. Uh, Grand Design as well. So that's where they came from? Yep, that, the, was, the that was sort of their part. Yep, and then Ryan Twaits, who's our fifth owner, he's uh, kind of a jack of all trades. He's seen it from all angles. Didn't really like the direction that they saw the industry going, sort of everyone racing to the bottom when it came to product and price point wise. <laughs> yeah, we know that. You're right. You know, when we first started building first prototype, we got together and said, hey, how can we work on, you know, eliminating or alleviating these top 10, top 15 warranty issues that have you know, sort of plagued the industry in years past from you know, wire harnesses that we're using, brass fittings for all the pecs. Uh, so there's definitely a, a different way of doing things. Yeah, you know, it may cost a little bit more money, take a little bit extra time, but you know, the end consumer, they notice it. You know, they're not having as many problems. You offer a warranty that covers people that are using the rigs yeah. for full time. So obviously you're designing it to be used full time, yep, right? Absolutely, that's that's 100% correct. I think. We've all seen a shift in the industry. It's a growing thing. It's something we got to be aware of. I think every manufacturer, it's definitely on their radar. So one thing that we always say about RVs is whoever is designing these <laughs> things is not a camper. Yeah. Now, are the guys at Brinkley, do they camp? Absolutely, man. That I think that's one of the biggest reasons why, you know, maybe we had so much early on success. You know, each of our owners starting a new brand, you know, Micah in particular with the Model Z, after we built Proto One, he took it on a month-long road trip with his family from Goshen, Indiana, where we're from, to Southern California. Came back with over 250 changes from Proto 1 to Proto wow. 2. And you know, it's really eye-opening what you can learn if you actually go out and utilize these things. Thanks, Brennan, for Absolutely. you know taking a little time and, and helping us understand what Brinkley is all about. We're gonna take some time and check out the 2900 here. Awesome. And we're gonna see if it's as awesome as you and your owners say. All right, we won't let you down. This is the Brinkley fifth wheel. There's so many great innovations. One of the things is this built-in workstation and dinette. The other thing that I love about it is they have all these cabinets, plus they kept lots of windows as well, including a window behind the TV that actually opens. The other thing I love about it is this pantry. So all the shelves are adjustable. You got an outlet in there. So the shelves are adjustable. Yeah. What? Yep. So you just remove two fasteners and you move it up, move it down, whatever works wow, best. Wow, that is cool. I've been saying that they need to be adjustable <laughs> and there needs to be lighting so you yep. can see every, instead of just having a light on the top. Yeah, so it'll kick on every time you open the door. Check out all the island storage here, under the sink, all the drawers, and more drawer space here, and of course, more cabinets. This is your spice rack built-in spice rack and it is removable so if you don't want it you can just pop it out but dual trash cans look at that honey well Love what it. else would make it that is a recycle bin and a oh exactly you have a paper towel. Oh, there's that. your and removable look, it's, paper it's, towel order it's, it's only a storage, for behind. storage for travel exactly yes. and then in it goes it's got its own dedicated spot all dovetail drawer boxes like if you open a drawer you can just look at the end and see how they're, they're truly dovetailed we got a couple goodies in here 
got a roll-up seat cover that they're hiding from. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, wow, nice. This so look at the nice size little, of the sink, honey. Look what you that. wanted, yes. honey, big was sink. like one big sink instead. One big sink. Yeah. For the doggo here, check this out. Oh, wow. Oh, doggy bowls, and they're just collapsible. Oh, that's that's so that. Collapsible, <laughs> honey. They're collapsible. Yeah. You can take them with you. Yeah. And then when you wow. put them back in, oh. you'll never have to worry about them. Wow. And that's a lot of times this is wasted space. You can put storage under here and check this out. This opens and ta -da! Does this mean you put your phone in here and it charges it? Yep, so it's a phone charger. It's waterproof. Another issue is some places where you sit to watch TV is not directly across from the TV. Just so a lot of people think we did the square windows for the exterior look, which uh -huh. to partly yes, but a lot of it had to do with the inside so we mm -hmm. could frame them out, you know, just like a home would be. Yes. And then we integrate our blinds. So we already have a built-in shade, wow. stationary shade, so when you open the window, no bugs come in. You have a pull-up day shade from the bottom, and then from the top, you have a blackout blind. And on the back of the blackout blind, there's actually like a thermofoil, like a reflective foil. So if the sun's beating in, it'll reflect the heat out to keep it nice. How much do those windows open? Six inches. This does not open, right? This, this one does not, since they're on the two, two on end the, wall. On right? the slide. Larry's going to do a 360 of all the windows. Lots of windows. A window. How pretty is this fridge? It's so cool. I'm not sure how to open it. Oh, wow. No frost. So one of the things I love about the most is actually the bathroom and bedroom situation. And let me show you what that is. I love the idea that there's a door that goes straight from the bedroom to the bathroom so that you don't have to disturb or your company sees you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. This bed is not in a slide. We don't ever want to buy another RV with a bed in a slide because of the issues we had before. So it has a wardrobe slide. And check out all the cabinet space they have here. Drawers down here, drawers here, 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 here. And they have a cross breeze for the bedroom. Nice. The bathroom has two entries, one from the hallway and one from the bedroom. The sink is actually a decent sized sink. However, the shower for this size rig is a bit small. There is cabinetry behind the toilet and underneath the sink, not much cabinetry. Also, the toilet is in a very strange spot. I was really surprised that the 2900 came with this very cheap and simple pin box without a rubber damper. It does not have a drop frame, so the main basement is very short. Not a lot of storage room here. The front basement houses the lipid hydraulic system for the jacks and main slides. It also has the Schwintec controller and the solar controller for the solar panels and the compartment and container for the main battery. But there's still lots of room in the front storage basement for my toys and tools. There's an extra storage compartment in the back under the floor under the rear couch. That makes up for the small front main basement. This is a new Lippert hydraulic jack design that I have not seen before, but it works like the old ones and uses the same Lippert auto leveling controller, which is mounted on the wall on the other side of the front basement. The Nautilus wet bay connections are also right over here, but they don't have their own compartment. I'm afraid that the water would intrude into the basement. The Furion tankless water heater is right beside it, along with a 35,000 BTU furnace. Under the RV are the rear jack stands and the Lippert hydraulic slide mechanism with the gear drive bar on the outside of the frame. Now the spare tire is mounted under the RV in the back, which is where I like it, and the Cora Plus is neatly installed with some LED lights for accent. It's got the Lippert axles and leaf springs, but it looks like the leaf spring hangers have been reinforced with these gussets. Cooper Load Range H tires that are 17.5 inch rims, which is really unusual. Most of the RVs on this size are 15 inch rims. 
You can see the extra support on the frame here and the gusset that goes in between the spring hanger which seems to be that what all of them are doing these days and interesting that the mechanism that moves the slide is on the outside this is on the outside instead of on the inside of the frame which is really cool the brinkley model z 2900 fifth wheel has an overall height of 13 feet 2 inches exterior length of 32 feet 11 inches exterior width of 96 inches fresh water capacity 75 gallons gray water capacity 90 gallons black water capacity 45 gallons uvw 11,674 pounds gvwr 14,495 pounds hitch weight 2,081 pounds for more details go to the brinkley website so what do you think about the Brinkley? Is this our new home?